Greetings and welcome, everyone, to another episode of Bar. Well, another recording, another cast. We're doing a 3v3 this time on Quicksilver. I've already gone ahead and started the game, because last time I had a little bit of a surprise where they went ahead and just skipped it. So, this one looks like we're going to have an issue with, uh, just the audio just a second here. Okay, so we have a clan this time. We have Shox, Jazz Cash, who had him before, and Mighty Sheep in the North, versus Ragna, Stardom, and Flash in the South. These are not affiliated with a clan, but these are with Clan FX, which usually means they're going to be talking in voice chat, would be my guess. So they'll probably have pretty good coordination, pretty good team play. They are a little lower, a little more stable on the true skill versus the South team. I know Ragna, for starters, is a really, really good player. We may see quite some aggressive plays on what is essentially an urban close quarters Knock down, drag out, brawl. Let's go into it. And we are off. We have two players on the high ground. Prime starts to go air, but with a 3v3 generally, you don't see in this game really. Not like in 0k, where air would be the first thing someone might think about. No, no. Only when there's four players. Only when there's four players, generally, will you consider that, especially on a map like this where the quarters are just so close. AA is just way too darn efficient. But, here it's just ground unit spots and vehicles. Either would be good, really. Vehicles can go up the ramps. They'll be a little bit slower on the going up. But, the bots will have a bit more easy, an easier time if they're fighting downhill. We've seen the plasma bots at work. They'll have quite a good thing going. Now, LLT creep would be probably what I'd expect to see. But that can be easily countered by rocket bots if someone's on the ball. We have bots, armada bots again, and another armada bots. Everyone's armada here. Armada, armada. Don't tell me this one's armada too. He is. Is he going bots as well? Let's see yet. That's two Armada bots here. We got fleas. We have another. We have a rest bot out, probably for the rocks, probably for the trees. Uh huh. He's building early. Let's go. Oh, another bots. Six bots. Six bot starts. Oh my gosh. There's gonna be so many peewees out here. Uh oh. Uh oh. He got his radar. Got his radar before the flea guy shot. That's annoying as hell. Radars don't cost any energy to upkeep, unlike they did in Total Annihilation, but um, they are absolutely vital to have. Just stop. Oh, oh, he saved it. He saved his mechs. Perfect. They just had a little thing there. There's just the firing angles in here. When you have fleas, one of the most annoying things you can do is to get caught between shooting units like towers and like wind generators. Get those in between you and the shooters so they can't get through to you. They can't shoot through their own structures. Of course, if you destroy that... Oh! Oh, they've got an engagement already. But one unit dead here. He let it die in that territory. It's just one, though. Normally when I say you've really got to be careful about letting units die in enemy territory because they can just reclaim it. Not so much a deal with it. Singles. Oh! Killed Max there. <sighs> I can't believe most people just didn't go for a laser tower. That would have stopped a lot of this. But then you've got things like this. Coming in from the corner. You can't really get to it in time. Because peewees are the same speed as other peewees. This just keeps running. Just kill two mexes. Unopposed. Didn't kill any wins though. That would have set off a chain reaction there if he had. That's unfortunate. Killing the energy is usually a way bigger deal than killing the metal because metal is a lot easier to reclaim than energy is. Racks do not leave energy, only the trees you see present will have energy reclaim. But it's a lot of it. Shox is pressuring Ragna here. He's got a radar up. Ragna doesn't really seem to have a radar, but he does kind of have an idea what's going on. He has laser tower guarding his ramp. He has a... Oh, hammer. Not warrior. I would have seen the icon more. Hmm. 
interesting. No one built vehicle like CMXs yet. That is a p fair point. There's three MXs down here uncontested. Uh, I don't believe the construction aircraft can build a uh, underwater MX. Yeah, it is too slow, really. Uh oh. Stardom, are you kind of out in the open here? No turret. Well, he can take on five peewees. No, not too much of a deal. But his horse is over here. Coordinating with Flash, maybe? I can't even tell what kind of coordination the North team is doing. They're not, they're talking voice chat is my guess. Not any uh, text chat that I can leech off of. Oh, Magna pushing up. Spidey sheep coordinating with Jazz Cash, but will it be enough? Pincered between Flash and Dom, this is really bad if they attack now. Well, he's trying to deal with Flash, and these guys come in behind, they get a flanking attack. They will crush these peewees. He has a lot of them here, right here. Nope. Mm, he's pincering. They're pincering. Yep, that is exactly what I thought would happen. Oh, ooh, that is bad. That that is a slaughter. Oh, this guy gets away with like four health. He does. Oh, it's deja vu. Dead Max. Dead. Dead win, but didn't quite deal enough a chain. Allergic to LLT, yeah. One would have stopped that. I mean, 50 metal for a max, 90 metal for one LLT would have stopped a lot of devastation. Oh, we're doing a standoff here. There's a beamer on the high ground that stopped most PUEs, but now we're getting the rockets, we're getting into our artillery bots. Uh, not so much an LLT creep, because everyone knows that's the play at times like this. When you know that's the play, you preempt it with rocket bots. That's what you do. Ah. Well, it's still just a little bit loud. There we go. Okay. Stardom is going just pure infantry, it looks like. I mean, when... With how much these things do cost, they cost about 2 or 3 or 2.5 2 peewees worth. But they are really, really good at killing static defenses. They have extremely high damage. Shocks has no peewees, no warriors to stop this. See all of these peewees? That is the flanking damage. That is the surround. Shocks dies. Takes quite a few units with him though, but not quite enough. Ragnar still has decent army coming up. Four positive bots, five positive bots soon, some peewees, and his commander, and a lot of reclaim there to pick up some more. Oh, and I missed this. Jess Cash has gotten Peewees in while Stardom's army was out getting itself killed. Well, and also killing the commander at it. Killed a lot of economy there. Didn't kill the bot lab though. Which would have been an enormous coup. But I gutted him there. Flash. Uh oh. Uh. Flash has taken his own army with his commander. Caping his commander a little too close. That's the danger of it. That's the risk. That is the risk, I profess. When you use your commander aggressively. Oh. Ragna, though. Ragna is... This is an enormous coup right here. Killing the wind generators back here. Killing the mexes. Oof. This is still only seven minutes in. This is going really interestingly so far. There was a play here to kill the commander, then there was a play back here. There, there's a lot of aggression, a lot of um, action here. Ragna, uh oh, Ragna got surrounded. Ragna got surrounded by gunners. And he, yep, he lost his. And now it's dropped a 2,000 metal wreck right in the middle of Jazz Cash's territory. And he has left this, nope, 217. He reclaimed most of it. They claim most of that one, so he still has a lot of metal. Well, not quite as much as I would hope. He's, he's donating it. He's donating everything that goes above 500 metal to his team. Because he's got so much. So, Stardom has a Glut. And this is not what you want to see, though. You don't want to see a Glut of metal. You want to be using it as fast as you spend it, because... You can set units to priority spending so that they can build first before everything else gets it. So you build your, your structures that will make the metal 
Come on, make one laser tower. Make one laser tower and make me stop crying. Jeez. Peewees. So devastating if they get... Because if the only thing you have to kill them with is peewees, this thing is just going to keep running. It's just going to outrun all your peewees because it is a peewee itself. Now, if it was an AK trying to run, the peewees would catch it. Hmm. Yes, he is making too many. These will lose. They will... <sighs> Beamers will out range rocket bots, but they can pick them away at the edges. They don't have to engage all the beamers at once. They can just pick us engagements here. So, despite the good start South had, the North has really rallied. Jazz Cash has gotten the commander's wreck. Wait, no, he hasn't. No, it's still there. They're, they've yet to get that, and when they do, they're going to have a glute of metal. Oh, boy. Shox is going air switch, but does he have the resources for that? He has metal, but not, metal's not what you need when, you, when you're looking at air. Air takes energy. It takes many times more energy than it takes metal to build air units. Air units are extremely metal cheap. So, you build that if you're back player with only like one or two maxes viable. Flash up, just let a bunch of peewees through, but Stardom might catch it. He has warriors now. These are really deadly. Oh, Flash put the see a little circle above their heads. That means they're resurrected in it. So he's picked up quite a few. He's caught. They pincered those peewees. Kills them very quickly with flanking damage. <laughs> so there's a lot of wrecks. There's a lot of peewees that can also be resurrected. He might just do that with these rectors here. These resbots. So, Ragna has not teched yet. He doesn't have much of an eco, actually. He hasn't been building that many wind generators. Despite him being in such a position, he has not been attacked. He's not let anything through. Hmm. Is he gonna comb drop? Wait, no, he's gonna bomber. He's making bombers, which will be... Just pop the lines of wind generators. Flash, if you just leave those warriors dangling out, though... Yeah, just support them in the infantry. Even warriors will melt like candle wax if this, these infantry surround them. Warriors are optimal for killing infantry, especially at range, but if they get surrounded, they will die immediately. Mm hmm. Solars from Mighty Sheep. I guess since they only cost energy. No, they only cost metal. You don't need to spend some energy economy to get them up and running. Plus, you don't um, suffer. When the when dips below like that, you don't lose efficiency because you have a backup. Hmm. Playing the snipe last com. No, you don't. You don't snipe commanders with bombers. I'm sorry. The bo the bombers are meant for killing static structures. Commanders can just walk out of the way. You just walk in a circle. I mean, you can try and bomb in a line, but it's gonna take way too long. And arm bombers, yeah, they are the weaker of the two. So, yep, Hammer's doing pretty good. They're pretty optimal dismantling defensive lines for cost. I mean, Rocco's would do better if you have time for it, obviously, but uh, these can also not be optimal versus the mobile units that would be sent to deal with them. But if he kills Jazz Cash there, hmm, lightning turrets in place though, which Ragnar will not see with radar. They are stealthed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yep, he, he knows the winds are there. He, he is doing a bomb and run. Those are dead winds. Oh. That is pain. That is pain, and he will not get any... He's just now building AA. It's too late. Too late to stop his, almost this entire energy economy from being eviscerated. And now he is moving on. He is moving on, but Sardom now has two defenders. He's building a third. But will it be in time? Because El Take just one pass and they will be able to kill that. And Ragna just now building his first defender, but unfortunately, Thunders are a bit better armored than one missile tower is going to do. After this point in the game, 12 minutes in, 13 minutes in, it doesn't hurt to make 
a lot more AA than that. I mean, if you just build it, when you get surprised, you're going to lose way more in economy than it took you to build the AA. Uh, what? Whoa. Oh, they're just, they're just giving a bunch of units to start on so he can push. So he can do a co-op push and these guys can focus on their sides. Flash is about to lose a lot of stuff if he's not careful here. He's got an army. Oh, a com just popped. Uh, it's the last one for both sides. It is down to the wire now. It's sudden death, people. <laughs> but the com did take out an enormous chunk of the army with it. So Jazz Cash may have avoided disaster, actually. Took out an enormous number of peewees. Oof. A lot of units did die, yes. And, oh, nope. That's fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. He's got warriors who's up the peewees now. Jazz Cash is chilling out in Shox's base. While Mighty Sheep is just spamming hammers now. He is owning the hill and the plateau below it. He's making star dot. He's threatening. See, he's threatening these. The side here. He, he, could, he could have kept those here. Uh oh, wait. The vehicle switched to flash. But he doesn't have the economy, does he? He's, he's making tanks now. Flash is getting in trouble, though. Um, warriors, they can kill, but they can't catch. They can't catch Peewees, and, and the Peewees can just run away from them and pick their own fight. There's nothing to stop them from killing everything back here. Of course, there's nothing to stop Flash from resurrecting everything, but he doesn't have the energy to do the resurrection in the first place. Shocks did a lot of damage to energy with that, so... It looks like only Ragna is building energy right now. They are enormously energy stalling here. Or they're going to be very, very soon. Flash. Mm. <laughs> yes, Flash has got rocket bots, but those are not going to be able to do enough, I don't think. If they kill the nano turrets, they kill the build power. Yep, they're killing the build power, which means can't build, you can't reclaim, you can't do anything really, if those go down. Stardom lost a good chunk of his army, but he is now building up some warriors, but warriors and tanks is a really thorny matchup. The tanks will just run circles around the warriors, literally, but the warriors have fairly comparable range and good toughness, but tanks will generally kill them quickly. Oh, that's a lot of peewees versus a lot of other peewees. But he has Twilights there, and we've seen that last game. If he charges and kills that Twilight, that will stun his peewees, and then the stun peewees are mincemeat. He probably knows that, that's why he's moving. He's gonna try and push this. Hope he moves there here and just dot and just kills himself. Oh, is he? He's, he can push through. If Ragnar doesn't catch him, he might push through and kill Stardom's commander before it's too late. Because Stardom doesn't have warriors there anymore. I think they died somewhere. But Ragna is putting up a valiant defense here. He's trying to catch this enormous number of infantry and stop the tanks right behind them. Will it be enough, though? Oh, they are incredibly starving. But Flash has an enormous amount of reclaims still to work with, as long as he can... He's not building solars, though. See, he's not building solars, which is, which should be what he does. He's building some winds, which are incredibly easy to kill. Of course, there's the AA now, but he's... I think he's reclaimed his air factory. Yes. He has no more air factory. No more air factory to worry about, but still the AA just in case. Tanks, there's... Oh boy, there's a lot of death piling up here. Ragna has lost a good chunk of his army. He has no twilight, I think. No backup there to stop this. No commander. No bomb. Oh, that's not going to blow in time. <laughs> that would have killed a lot of them if it had. 
Ragnar's gonna get wiped here in just a second if he... Nope. He might defend in time. Yep. He won't get turrets up in time, though. Ooh! Yep, there's the warrior and tank matchup. But the tanks will kite. Just a little bit. See, the lasers will deal less at their max range. They will deal less at their max range while the tanks do the full damage every single shot. So it's not an ideal match for warriors. If the tanks try and push in close, the warriors have more of a chance. They don't have AoE like the tanks do, but they can spread out to mitigate that. Plus, if they do flanking shots and focus on tanks, they can shoot them apart. Mm. Ragna doesn't have freedom to get the Rex very well. If he had backup, but he's been the one giving the backup. He's been the one building energy. He's been the one making units, doing the micro. But now the north, they are stacked with energy right now. Completely stacked. Jazzcash has hidden his commander in the water back here, which means they're not going to be able to catch him unless they make ships. But they don't have the time to make ships. They can't go for the kill anymore. So they have to try valiantly to win this with what little they have left. They are incredibly... Oh my gosh, this this is a knockdown, drag out fight, everyone. But now Mighty Sheep's Resurrectors are entering the fight. He is got, getting Flash's advantage out from under him. If he gets the Rex, Flash has nothing. He's been living off wreckage. Ooh! Oh, baby. Oh, baby, that is... Shox's Peewees, backed up by Jazzcash's Janus now. Janus and Stumpy. Janus and the tanks. Oof. Three different sets of Peewees. Flash has sent his Peewees, but over there, while this is happening here, if Mighty Shape had any warriors with this, the Peewees would just be chewed up in, like, in no time flat. Ugh, nope. If he pushes through, He's killing the nano turrets. They are dead. If he pushes through and kills the lab, then he has nothing left. He has no resurrectors. He has all, no, no constructors. Nothing. Nothing. Ragna is just hanging on by a thread here. Stardom is living the best he can. He's resurrecting with enormous amount of resurrectors, but he has no energy. I'm amazed he's able to keep this up. He shouldn't be. No, with, not, with no title income, too. Flash is somehow, somehow hanging on with the skin of his teeth. But Ragna, yep, that's it. Ragna is being wiped out systematically by the infantry, just tearing his entire base apart. Stardom is the only one with any, any force worth noting. Flash is dead. His entire base is scrap. Mighty Sheep, Jazz Cash, and Shocks have consolidated their half of the map. Built up an enormous economy, an enormous army. Their coordination is incredible here. So, despite some setbacks early, despite some good tactics in the beginning, I think Shocks killing the economy. Jazz Cash building up economy for himself. Mighty Sheep pressuring Flash and keeping the pressure on Stardom here as well. That all really paid off. And Shocks also keep Ragna busy. Kept Ragna from keep keeping too much support for Stardom here. So I think one of the real kickers though was that Commander Bomb here dying. The Commander dying and killing Stardom's army so that Stardom could not push through. If he had killed this economy here, all of these wind generators, then that would have been it, I think. That would have been the turning point. But that was just too many units dead. This is it, though. Mighty Sheep is pushing. He's going to kill the last commander, and it's too late to hide. There's nothing left. He has just one last hurrah here. Might kill a lab. Might kill some economy here. With some resurrected tanks and zombie army. The last hurrah. And that was it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that was something. Everyone.
That was a very high level 3v3. I'm glad I got to show that to you. That was a lot of good strategy, good tactics. I think North really had the, had it though. They had a much better strategy in the long term. They had an incredible infrastructure build up. South didn't get much energy going, but I mean the North had so much energy and so much infrastructure and it wasn't so clustered that all of it would die. I mean, you could kill one line, but it wouldn't mean they would kill the entire thing. There's a lot of metal makers going on, so they didn't have to rely on mexes. There's a lot of winds, so, so much winds. Some solars even to back that up when the winds went down. That is exactly what you do. So, they got so much build up, and they didn't get that killed like they should have. The air raid, I think, really, really did a hard number on them, though, down, down south. They kept their economy down, and that was it. When your economy goes down, your infrastructure goes down, and your ability to wage war just collapses. But South made the most of it while they could. South did an incredible job hanging on. I thought they were gone for several minutes, but they really impressed me. <laughs> Ragna, Flash, and Stardom, especially you guys, Great team. Great team, everyone. Great team all around. And that was an incredible game. And I will hope to give you guys more of that. So, see you guys next time.